there is no longer any need to debate who the next governor of Delta State is, as Isoko North government area have pointed Deltans to the direction where the governor is going in stunning fashion. The mammoth reception received by the governorship candidate of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, Olorogu Kenneth Bagi, has ended any arguments that Bagi's liberation message has not gotten to the grassroots as the Isoko Nation, one that houses the SDP state chairman through their support behind the criminologists. Ozoro, the headquarters of Isoko North local government, was set alight as Bagi first made a stop at Adaigo Foundation Gospel Church to grace a meeting of the Isoko church leader and Isoko Pastors Forum headed by Right Reverend John Arapo, the Bishop of the Diocese Anglican Communion. During the meeting, Bagi read out his liberation message and took questions from the men of God before host Archbishop Barrister Gimbright Adahiko led prayers for the industrialists and set Bagi on his way to campaign. Father, your word says you put one down and lift another. Yes. Time, data will change. Yes. In your time, Isoko will change. Yes. In your time, Kurobi Shakiri Divo Dukwala will change. Yes. He job will change. Yes. Let God guide you. Yes. As God favored and let God favor you. Yes. Let Manti speak before you. Yes. Let he speak before you. Yes. In the name of God the Father. Yes. In the name of God the Son, yes. in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Yes. The motorcade escorted the industrialist and his team as the SDP took over Ozoro town. Arriving at the campaign ground, Bagi was serenaded by a multitude of supporters from wards and villages all over as Isoko North showered love on Bagi and the SDP. <laughs> Several leaders who spoke highlighted the significance why Deltans must vote Olorogu Kenneth Bagi as a governor and not make the mistake of mortgaging the future of Deltans and even generation unborn. So far, not too much. Not true. I don't know whether only the Osaf went and the one talks. We did see her. So far, not too much. We don't suffer a lot. LDP, on the front of the the We don't want to be partial. It's a straightforward human being. Now he go on look. All look everywhere. He said no. We men must take position in the other state. Now he go bring this fine lady. Una, una daughter. Who in the sea so? Because behind every successful man, there is a woman. My, my lovely mothers, my women, my sisters, they try to do it right is now. So loud was the share that greeted Bagi when the people's favorite on the stage and delivered his liberation message to a cacophony of ovation. Peace. We are having a state of emergency in Delta. And unless 
all of you understand it to be so, then we have no problem. When I don't hear the governorship candidate of PDP speak to you before, do we have PDP governorship candidates? No! Error! I not. I want to beg you people. We need human beings. People with character. People with name. People we can trace. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Isoko has the greatest environment and terrain to produce on the best rice like America. So, part of the food basket of Nigeria, not only Delta, we will produce rice in Isoko land that the entire country and beyond will buy rice from Isoko everywhere. I need people. Now, governor, now I come back and I say, we're going to vote for you. But I need the House of Assembly here. Yeah, that man, that man, who is going to ride on the platform of the horse? I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. Now, come back. Me. Me gonna give this man on a vote. Me to liberate as your House of Assembly member in the election coming with me the same day. Are you with me? Yes, sir. This one is a good man. Now follow your vote and for us. That day we will all come back and rejoice with you. Yes, sir. I have the solution. Unless we industrialize Delta. Unless we bring employment back to Delta, unless all these great children, youths here, get what they do every day to put food in on their table and their wives, the state is dead. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So join hands. Tell us the fact that because we have suffered our parents, we could not pay them gratuity, we could not pay them pension. I have decided, just like the policy of the SDP when they started, that every Delta child, I repeat, every Delta child will have free education to university level. I was a minister in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And as a minister, we agreed that if one Muslim rule eight years, another Christian will rule eight years. Are you with me? Yes, sir. We agreed. I was a party to that decision. I was a minister with Jonathan. So, Jonathan finish, nine Buhari come. Not be so? Yes, sir. Buhari don't be finish now. Not be Christian will come. Yes, sir. Not be Christian will come. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One belongs to SDP. Yeah. Adewale Adebayo. Wonderful. Ah. That is our governor. The second one, when qualified, when the Christian do, is Peter Ogi. Oh. 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 I'm telling you, it is the turn of Christian to govern Nigeria. I am Akbar Henry Akbos, and in Uzoro, this is Raro TV. Thank you for watching.